Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I beg pardon. I thought he was really sharp. By well, the way he hammered over those points one by one, magical sequence. I was very impressed. I think he he did an expert job. Uh, a lot of drive too, you know. Real drive. Okay, fellas, can we hold it down a minute? Sure. Uh, fellas, say uh, we'd like to get started. Gentlemen at the window. We'd like to get started. Oh, I'm sorry. Pretty tough to figure, isn't it? Kid kills his father, Bing, just like oh, that. Oh, listen, you analyze the figures, oh, you'll see that was all. I'm telling you, they let those kids run here. wild up there. Well, maybe it serves them right. You know what I mean? Is, that, is, is everyone here? Uh, the old man is inside. Oh, would you uh, knock on the door for him? Yeah. Right. You a Yankee fan? No. Baltimore. Baltimore. It's like being hit in the head with a crowbar once a day. <laughs> what do I got? I mean, who do I got besides good ground people? Say, uh, we'd like to get started. Oh, forgive me, gentlemen. I, I didn't mean to keep you waiting. Baltimore. Okay, uh, gentlemen, uh, if I can have your attention. Uh, you fellas can uh, handle this thing any way that you want to. I'm, uh, you know, I'm not going to make any rules. Uh, we can, well, discuss it first and uh, then vote on it. That's, of course, uh, that's uh, one way. And, uh, well, we can uh, vote on it right now. And I think it's customary to take a preliminary vote. Yeah, let's, let's vote. Who knows, maybe we can all get out of here, huh? Uh-huh. Okay, then uh, I think that, um, of course, you know that we uh, have a first-degree murder charge here, and if we vote the accused guilty, uh, we've got to send him to the chair. Um, that's mandatory. I think we know that. Let's yeah, vote. let's see who's where. Yeah, well. Okay, um, anyone does want to vote? Try with me. Uh -huh. Okay, then uh, just remember that this has to be 12 to nothing either way. Um, that's the law. Okay, are we ready? Uh, all those voting guilty, please raise your hands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, that's eleven guilty. All those voting not guilty? One, right. 11 guilty, one not guilty. Well, now we know where we are. Boy, oh boy, there's always one. <laughs> well, what do we do now? I guess we talk. Boy, oh boy. You really think he's innocent? I don't know. I mean, you sat in court with the rest of us. You heard what we did. The kid's a dangerous killer. You could see it. He's 18 years old. Well, that's old enough. He... He stabbed his own father four inches into the chest. They proved it a dozen different ways in court. Would you like me to list them for you? No. Then what do you want? I just want to talk. Well, what's there to talk about? Eleven men in here think he's guilty. No one had to think about it twice except you. I want to ask you something. Do you believe his story? I don't know whether I believe it or not. Maybe I don't. So how come you vote not guilty? Well, there were eleven votes for guilty. It's not easy to raise my hand and send a boy off to die without talking about it first. Well, now, who says it's easy? No one. What, just because I voted fast? I honestly think the guy's guilty. Couldn't change my mind if you talked for a hundred years. I'm not trying to change your mind. It's just that we're talking about somebody's life here. We can't decide it in five minutes, supposing we're wrong. Supposing we're wrong. Yeah. Supposing this whole building should fall down on my head. You can suppose anything. That's right. Look, what's the difference how long it takes? Suppose we uh, do it in five minutes, so what? Let's take an hour. Ball game doesn't start till eight o'clock. Who's got something to say? I'm willing to sit for an hour. Great. I heard a pretty good story last night. That's not why we're sitting here. All right, then you tell me. What are we sitting here for? I don't know, maybe no reason. Look, this kid's been kicked around all of his life. You know, born in a slum, mother dead since he was nine. He lived for a year and a half in an orphanage when his, his father was serving a jail term for forgery. It's not a very happy beginning. He's a, a wild, angry kid. That's all he's ever been. And you know why? Because he's been hit on the head by somebody once a day, every day. He's had a, he's had a pretty miserable 18 years. I, I just think we owe him a few words, that's all. I don't mind telling you this, mister. We don't owe him a thing. He got a fair trial, didn't he? What do you think that trial cost? He's lucky he got it. You know what I mean? No. Now look, we're all grown-ups in here. We heard the facts, didn't we? You're not going to tell me that we're supposed to believe this kid, knowing what he is, 
Listen, I've lived among them all my life. You can't believe a word they say. You know that. I mean, they're born liars. Only an ignorant man can believe that. Now, listen. Do you think you were born with a monopoly on the truth? I think certain things should be pointed out to this man. Come on, this isn't Sunday. We don't need a sermon. Come on, we have a job to do now. Let's do it. Rice Pops. It's a product I work on at the agency. A uh, breakfast with a built-in bounce. I wrote that line. Very catchy. Yeah? Say, uh, do you mind? Oh, I'm sorry. I have this habit of doodling. It keeps me thinking clearly. Yeah, we have uh, all this work to do. There's no point staying here forever. Okay. Um, now, perhaps if the uh, gentleman down there who's disagreeing with us, uh, well, perhaps you could tell us why. You know, uh, let us know what you're thinking, and uh, we might be able to show you where you're mixed up. Well, look, maybe, maybe this is an idea. Now, I haven't given it much thought, but it seems to me that it's up to the group of us to convince this gentleman that uh, he's wrong and we're right. Now, maybe if we each took a couple of minutes just to... Well, it was just a quick idea. No, no, no. That's a good one. Um, suppose we go once around the table. I guess you're first. Oh. Well, uh... Well, it, it's hard to put into words. I just think he's guilty. I thought it was obvious from the word go. I mean, nobody proved otherwise. Nobody has to prove otherwise. The burden of proof's on the prosecution. The defendant doesn't even have to open his mouth. That's in the Constitution. Oh, well, sure, I know that. Uh, what I meant was is... Well, I, I just think he's guilty. I mean, somebody saw him do it. Okay. Uh, here's what I think, and I have no personal feelings about this. I just want to talk about facts. Number one. The old man lived downstairs under the room where the killing took place. At ten minutes after twelve on the night of the killing, he heard loud noises. Said it sounded like a fight. And he heard the kid yell out, I'm going to kill you. A second later, he heard a body hit the floor. Ran to the door, opened it up, saw the kid running down the stairs and out of the house. Called the police. They came in, found the old man with a knife in his chest. The coroner fixed the time of death around midnight. Now, these are facts. You can't refute facts. The kid is guilty. I'm just as sentimental as the next fella. I know he's only 18, but he's still got to pay for what he did. I'm with you. Okay, um, you finished? Yeah, All right, next. It is obvious, to me anyway, that the boy's entire story was flimsy. He claimed he was at the movies during the time of the killing, and yet one hour later, he couldn't remember the names of the films he saw or who played in them. That's right. And no one saw him going in or out of the theater. Listen, what about the woman across the street? If her testimony don't prove it, nothing does. That's right. She was the one who actually saw the killing. Now, fellas, please, let's go in order here, huh? Just a minute. Here's a woman... <coughs> Here's a woman who's lying in bed. She can't sleep. She's dying with the heat. You know what I mean? Anyway, she looks out the window, and right across the street, she sees the kid stick the knife into his father. The time is 12.10 on the nose. Everything fits. Look, she's known the kid all his life. His window was right opposite hers across the L tracks, and she swore she saw him do it. Through the windows of a passing L train.